One of the common questions that we get is how to use NextGen Gallery or NextGen Pro inside of page builders. Now, page builders are these plugins that offer drag and drop customization and, and editing of a page on your website. And it, uh, many of the page builders allow doing tons of customization to a website without any knowledge of code required. And so they're, they're a great tool that are becoming more and more popular. In fact, they're becoming so popular that WordPress itself is coming out with their own. It's going to be called uh, a block editor. And it's going to be a little bit different than a page builder, but it's, it's going to have a lot of the same powerful features that page builders offer. And so we wanted to show you uh, how to use NextGen Gallery inside of page builders currently. But I'm going to preface that with a little announcement. For NextGen Gallery, we are building a widget that is compatible with multiple things. This widget will be compatible with just WordPress widgets that you can use any gallery type in any widget space on your website. This will also work as a element or a block or module, whatever you want to call it, for page builders meaning that you'll be able to drag a next-gen gallery from any of the popular page builders and edit the gallery of what you inserted at any time, as simple as you can with, with our visual shortcode. And in the future, we're also going to be making a block specific to the WordPress block editor, the new upcoming visual editor that it will, should be in WordPress 5.0. We will have a a block that is also compatible to, to make NextGen Gallery work seamlessly inside of those areas. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you the three most popular uh, WordPress page builder plugins and show you how to use NextGen Gallery inside of it. And if, you're, if you have, are undecided about what page builder to use on your site or if, you're, if you are using one or you want to change or anything like that, we have a full comparison that goes over an extensive overview comparison of all the popular uh, page builders for WordPress, and it's a very unbiased view on them. So please check that out. I will link to that uh, in the description of this video as well as in the blog post for this video. So here we are inside of Elementor. Now, Elementor does not integrate with NextGen Gallery at the moment. So what we would have to do is we would actually have to find the short code uh, element that they offer. So we can just, you can scroll or just type in short code and find it. And we can just drag it in here. And now there is a short code and you can see that you can add any short code you want, but you can't actually insert the short code using our add gallery button. So what you need to do is open a different page on your site and just create a, a, po a page draft called next gen gallery short code. And you're going to hit add gallery. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new gallery because this, this local instance does not have one. Uh, this is a test gallery. And I'm going to drag in some photos and I'm going to upload those photos. And uh, from here, once it's done uploading, I'll be able to go back to the display tab and pick, let's say I want to do, uh, let's say I want to do the, just such the basic thumbnails for simplicity. What will I like to display? Uh, the test gallery. I'm going to hit insert that. Now I have the visual shortcode. This is what we have in NextGen Gallery where you can go to the text tab and see the shortcode, go back to visual. You can see the actual, you know, ability to remove it or edit what you've previously inserted. But for this uh, sake of this demonstration, I'm going to go to the text editor and copy the, uh, the, you can either use a keyboard shortcut or a right click and hit copy with the actual shortcode. Then I'm going to go back to Elementor and I'm going to paste that shortcode. And now what I'm going to do is hit save and that's it. Now you're not going to see the, the gallery displayed on the front end and you won't see the visual shortcode on the front end, but your gallery is there. If I was to go and view this page, as a preview, you'll see that the gallery is in fact here. There is a little bit of breakage here that has to be worked out. It might be just a little bit of a short code uh, fix it has to be something that has to be removed. For example, it's probably somewhere around here because Elementor doesn't support the full short code uh, that, that, we, that we offer, but that's okay. Um, you could just do a little bit of tweaking as needed. I also want to show you that you can actually add a next gen gallery widget. So if you wanted a, sh uh, a slideshow, or, and you just pick the gallery, or if you wanted to go ahead and add a, a standard widget like that, we can do that as well. Now, that's because Elementor actually looks at the WordPress widgets that are available. 
okay? And that means that once we have our new widget available to use any gallery display type or album display type or anything like that that's re-editable, you'll be able to go ahead and just use any of that. So you can see here I got a slideshow. Obviously, I would have to adjust the size. I've got the, you know, the, the, the thumbnail gallery again. I would have to adjust size. But you can see it would actually work fine if I go that route. Now, moving on to Beaver Builder, I've got, again, you can see that I can go ahead and I can drag a slideshow and I can change the settings. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to change the settings for the sake of this. I can add, a again, a thumbnail gallery. I'm not going to change the settings for the sake of this. And I can add custom HTML. And again, I could add the same short code if I want to right in, in, in line right there. So you can see this one actually displays nicely. I can hit done and I can uh, save changes and exit. And now I can view the page and I've got the gallery. There's no break in the short code. Um, there's the gallery here and the slideshow here. Everything looks fine. Now the last one I want to show you is, is Beaver. Uh, now the last page builder I want to show you is the Divi Builder. Divi comes in multiple formats. There's a theme or there's the plugin. I'm just showing you the plugin. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to insert. Uh, I'm going to just insert a column. And then in the column, I'm going to insert a module. And I can actually add. i got to just find the text module. Here it is. So I'm going to add a text module. And you can see that it actually has the Add Gallery button. So I'm going to hit Add Gallery, and here I can go ahead and I can just insert the gallery as if I was doing it in a normal page or post. And you can see that the gallery was inserted. I can actually re-edit the gallery that was inserted. I can save, and now I can go ahead and preview this page, and you'll see that the gallery is here as I inserted. So Divi actually does allow for next -gen Gallery to be included because in the text module, because it's not stripping away the tiny MCE bar, this add media, add gallery bar that is right there. So with Divi, you can just go ahead and use NextGen Gallery as you're used to already in the text module. So while we work towards getting full page builder compatibility across the board, the important thing to remember is to create a page draft where you're basically creating your short codes that you can then copy and paste into whatever page builder you're using. And this includes Gutenberg, or what is codenamed Gutenberg, which will be the future block editor in WordPress. There is a short code block. So right now, you could go ahead and just, if you're using Gutenberg in the beta stage, you could just copy the short code and paste it into a Gutenberg block. So it works all around. We're very excited for to, to build out full compatibility for page builders and the future block editor. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.